Hello everyone, I'm the Kremlin Archer and welcome to RimWorld Royalty. Royalty is a new DLC that just dropped this morning from, uh, from Tiny and Sylvester for RimWorld. Um, I haven't had a chance to play with it at all yet, so this is going to be my raw first impressions, but I'm very excited. Any new RimWorld, RimWorld content makes me a very happy man. So we're just going to do a crash landed. I thought about doing a rich explorer. Because it's it's got, you know, like we were a noble somewhere else and we're going to become a noble again. Naked Brutality also has a certain appeal because you can kind of like uh, think of it as rags to riches kind of story. But we're just going to do regular Crash Landed. Make it super, relatively simple. We'll do uh, good old Merciless Cassandra. Reload anytime. I imagine this is not going to go what great because of the fact that this is all a lot of new content and, you know, stuff changes. Uh, this is also, I should say, part of um, 1.1, which is a new patch that rolled out for RimWorld, which is, has its own set of changes. So we're actually going to go with the royalty seed and see what we get at here. Oh, hello. In the workers tab priorities, one is first, but yes, I know that. So we now have tips. What are these? Trading here requires title of knight or dame. Okay, so these are special factions now. Okay. The Exodus Empire. Headed up by Jaden Gray. So this stuff is a little different now. Okay. Um, I always like to have my... My starting area a little bit bigger than normal. Just because I think it makes for a more interesting game. All right, where do we want to be? How is the, Boreal Forest is always kind of fun, but there's no real good Boreal Forest that's near. I'd like to be near stuff, especially the new stuff, because, you know, it's new. We got to check it out. This is desert. Desert will be kind of rough. I think probably just in this general vicinity, because there's one of these things here. There's a couple of different tribes around. So let's see, can I get, what if we go like, I'm trying to think of how those the roads run. Let's go like, here. 30, 30 days of growing, berries, animals, yeah, large hills. Eh, I like the sound of this, we'll go with this. All right, let's get some people. I'm not going to spend a ton of time choosing people. Oh, these are like this now. That's interesting. Because you could spend, you know, you can spend hours in the creator here. So mostly I want people that are incapable of none. You are 46. A little scab. Psychically dull. This person is actually quite good. All right, Casey. You're one of our people. You are not so good. Capable of intellectual. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. All right, so let's start randomizing here. Great memory pessimist. You're actually pretty similar to this person. Now, this person's a little bit better. I'm not even going to look at this stuff if it doesn't say incapable of none. Depressive's not great. Tough. Kind of. Bad back. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Brace of wimp. Mm, good crafting. Good shooting. So I need somebody who's good at construction and cooking, mostly. So yeah, let's not do this one. Beautiful brawler. All right, I might actually take this person because they're very good at cooking. Let's see what we can get here. I need I need somebody who can do construction. Great memory, masochist, slothful. No. Clickety click. All right, eleven. Incapable of animals. That's okay. A nervous cannibal. Cannibal is fine. Nervous is not great. I might run with this, though. 
We don't have much in the way of mining, although this person is excited about it. Yeah. We're not we're also not very great on the uh the combat skills, but like I said, I don't want to spend a, a million years working on this, so we're just going to go with these people. Let's get in. Avoid using stone doors. They open very slowly. Yes. I like these new tips. It's a nice uh, addition there. Also, the fact that it shows you your mods when you're loading. All right. I haven't played without mods in, <laughs> in an extremely long time. I've got kind of a useless dog. But he's a good boy. Um, so remembering this looks like something. Remembering what... Uh, oh, hey, donkeys. Those are new. Remembering what happens because of mods and what happens in the base game is going to be a little bit of a trick, I think. Hmm. Okay. Well, I think we're going to set up in this corner. We got access to a steam geyser. So let's go ahead and do first things first. I'll put a stockpile. We can we can cover it up back here. We'll put a stockpile on this corner. Put a dumping stockpile over here. Um, right now everybody hauls. Everybody firefights. Everybody patients. You guys doctor. Level two bed rest. Level one basic. I don't want to do too much of this right now. You will construct when we have things to construct, though. Oh, that's right. I don't have my unforbid all tool. I don't think allow. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, this is. I think this is new. I don't remember it, anyways. Unforbid all items. Okay, there is an unforbid all aspect in that. You just right-click on it in case you didn't wanted to know what that was. All right, let's uh, speed things up. All right, so this is ancient danger. Okay, good to know. Column. Holding up a roof does not block sight or movement. Oh, cool, that's new. All right, so we're going to build a wall there, put a door there. I'm just going to let them go for a second here. I don't want to overload them with tasks. But we need to get our stuff under cover so it doesn't get uh, destroyed. Jake puts the helmet on. A little more wood. Come on, Jake. You can do it. Stay on task, man. Most of our food is down here. We're going to need beds. I suppose in the short term, we'll just do sleeping spots in here. Well, there's some new graphics here. Drape. Brazier has a new graphic. Throne. Grand Throne. Just looking around to see if there's anything else that's new. Barricade. Hmm. I think I remember hearing about the barricades. They're basically just the same as... They're better than... I mean, the same as sandbags. But they, they're made of different materials, which is nice. Let's let them grab all the stuff. It's a new new music track. <laughs> I knew there was there's new music, but it's a little striking because when you're used to hearing the same songs forever. <laughs> Alright, so I like my strategy in building things is these 13 by 13 squares. Which have always worked well for me. So let's start with this one. Put a door here. Straight across from that. 
and on our door down here. They're right because you can subdivide them into four equal sized rooms. See if there's other, any other animals that we haven't seen before on the map. No, it looks like all the rest are just the, those, the animals we are familiar with. Should probably get some food in the ground as soon as possible, too. Alright, growing. Put the U on growing for the moment, Casey. Do we have any rich soil around? Doesn't look like it. It's a lot of 100% fertility soil, but no, there's some rich soil. Nope, that's just mud. Never mind. I was seeing if they'd added a vein miner. One of the mods I used to run was the vein miner, which would let you auto select an entire mine of other an entire vein of stuff to mine. But it is not not to be. All right. Let me put some growing zones out. Let's go. This. Hope oh, that's not a good that's not a good spot for that. Let's get. Oh, this looks different. Rice. Potatoes are fine. That'll do for the moment. Ideally, I'd like to get this thing out of the way so I can build another square right here. Nobody's any good at mining, so this is going to take a while if we try and do this. Let's make some beds. Just so that they have something to sleep in. Don't want them sleeping on the ground for too many days in a row. They get very they get very sad. So far, there are no his no quests, except royal favor. All right. Our research here. I mean, I haven't looked at the default research screen in so long. Specialized limbs, brain rope wiring. Definitely some new stuff in here. Skin hardening. I always just like to do this with these guys. I don't like to make them sleep in, but I just like to give them the, make sure they go to bed, and then I don't really care if they sleep in or not. Once Casey's done planting, I want them. I want this little bit mined out. Get these rocks out of the way too. Visitors. Excellent quality. That's what I like to see. Another excellent quality, man. And a good quality. No, I can't win them all. This is not where they're going to live. It's just a just a spot for the moment. Alright, let's actually hand out our weapons, huh? You've got a zero. You're the brawler, so you get the knife. There you go. Yeah, I just really want this gone so that I can build properly. Although, actually... Oh, no, never mind. I do have to get it gone. I was going to say I could use this as the wall because it lines up, but the uh, 
There's no smoothing in this, so. Start building, though. Actually, no. Let's let them get these trees knocked down. So many things to do right at the beginning. A teacher is visiting. She seems to have a few items to trade. There's a ship junk out here. Who's our social person? Casey? I don't expect we'll actually have anything worth trading with them, but... A major break risk for some reason. Royal... Cloth Royal Vest. Can buy some more food. I'm gonna buy your food. It's always a good idea to have some more food. Hey, random dead raccoon. Oh, the war gate it. Oh no, there's a warg on the map. Oh right, recreation. Horseshoe pin. Ooh, that's different. So Casey, what are you upset about? Everything. Greed for impressive bedroom. Rebuffed by Jake. God, I hate that rebuff thing. Disturbed sleep. Unsightly environment. Minor pain. Yep. New quest is available. The feel for the fearful praetor. The Scobos Tabos. A praetor for the Exodus Empire is calling from nearby. She is being followed by an angry chicken. She says she only wanted to see the landscape on a quick walk and never expected such a deadly threat. Yeah, those angry chickens, man. She wants you to keep her safe at Colony for a few hours until her shuttle can come and pick her up. She promises not to be offended by your body order or lack of manners. She will bestow eight royal favor on whoever completes this quest. With enough favor, receive the royal title of Yeoman. All the benefits that come with it, including a psychic amplifier that gives psychic abilities. Be warned, those titles tend to become haughty and needy. All right, we'll do this one. Um, let's go with Jake. All right, Jake, come here. Come hang out with this person. Here's the, angry, here's the angry chicken. Oh, we got some new options here. Stun. Won't lead to disrupt target's motor control. Blinding pulse induce noise. Obscuring vision. Beckon. Oh, you can teleport too. I mean, but you have zero psychic energy, so it doesn't matter. This is just a regular chicken. Oh, nope. Oh, psychic entropy. I was reading that backwards. Okay. I was thinking that as hit point or like spell points. But in fact, it was, uh... Shuttle's arrived. Okay. Go get in your shovel. That's cool. I think this thing actually has a graphic of flying away, too. Let's watch and find out. Well, it's not going to leave for another 16 hours, so <laughs> never mind. We won't watch and find out. I'll try to remember to come back and look and find out. All right, give me... Uh, what kind of table do I want? Let's do two by two. We're just going to put a table outside for the moment. While we're getting things set up. So the people can actually eat some food. This is almost done. 
What are you major breaking for? Can I send you on? Yes, send. Go away. Quest completed. Alright, we'll get that in a second. There it goes. Alright. You received the title of Yeoman from the Exodus Empire. This allows the use of implants Psychic Amplifier 1X Yeoman. He will receive the following items via transport pod. Psychic Amplifier. If he dies, the title will be inherited by Jordan. A new heir can be chosen. Okay. Okay. Close. Okay, that's the same thing. All right. Congratulations, Jake. You a big man now. All right. So, wooden wall. So this is what I like about these things. You can be subdivided like this pretty easily. And you need this, this, and this. We need a door and a door and a door. And I don't know, I guess a door over here. And you always double check after you put it down to make sure you did not accidentally make a swastika because that would be bad. One more night sleeping outside, guys. The, the new house will be ready tomorrow. Oh, not enough wood. I'm gonna use a little bit of steel just to get this finished. Not the best use of steel, but whatever. It's fine. We need to reduce your medicine use. There you go. Get up. Everybody get to work. Put these in rooms that aren't finished yet because this is how optimistic I am right now. They'll totally be done. <clears throat> oh, we don't have any any wood at this point. Okay. Chop. Cut. Chop. I need plant cutting assistance, please. I want my friends sleeping in, in actual real rooms before the day is over. Um, this is the settlement. Is uh, Jake's Jake's domain, right? Because we're he's the he's the noble now. This will be the Cromulent, um, Cromulent Hills. There you go. Right. Almost done. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Now we need to just start making meals and things. Where's my zones? There we go. Let's expand this. What is this? This is the psychic amplifier? Alright, how do I... How do you use this? There you go. Install your psychic amplifier. 
reached Psychic Amplifier level 1 and automatically learned Psychast Stun. Alright, so Jake now knows how to stun. Way to go, buddy. Everybody gets to have an actual room to sleep in tonight. Isn't that great? All right, I think I'm going to stop here for today. Um, yeah, so RimWorld Royals. Pretty cool. I'm excited to dig into more. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, leave a like. It helps out a great deal. Also, consider su subscribing if you want to see more in the future. I also stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash crummylearnarcher. So come on by and uh, check that out if you want. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much.